What's up, guy? Um, just got back from the fishing for at the Development River for shad. Uh, I couldn't uh, record over there because uh, there's a lot of people. I kept my phone uh, recording uh, inside my uh, tackle box. It's away from me, so I kind of like, uh, was busy fishing so I my just steal it so that's why I couldn't record all of the, the footage so uh, anyway I um, caught probably 12 fish for one and a half hour and uh, I released five and gave seven to a, a group of family uh, they wanted fish they never know what kind of fish and they never tested so I just told them and how to cook it so they said they will try and uh, they are happy with it uh, anyway uh, I didn't have my uh, my rod with me but uh, it's too hot and uh, I was gonna tell you guys as a uh, the setup for a uh, shot fishing so and the the casting so a uh, usually people they uh, set up for like three uh they use the lead the leader like three to five feet and um mostly they use like uh, eight ten uh 12 pounds of the lead and uh i use a six to seven feet uh, 10 pounds or 12 pounds I like the most and uh, I don't know I caught a lot of fish that way I, I try four or five feet the same jig head the same uh, shot dot but it just uh, it didn't work that way so it might probably work for them but uh, for me so I use six to seven feet of the lead 10 or 12 pounds uh of that uh, that line and i use the main line is 20 pounds it's a little lighter i braid it and it's easy uh, casting so let's talk about a uh, casting and the weight that we are uh, supposed to use uh usually uh you don't have to buy like expensive rod or anything like that just you know six seven feet or eight feet some people go up to 10 11 uh, feet long of the rod but I'm using is 8.6 and uh, I prefer the most the three quarter ounce but you can try half an ounce three quarters or an ounce and uh, the way you cast your uh, cast it to a uh, cast it out it's the the most that you will get fish you cast it out 11 o'clock 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock but I like the most is 12 o'clock I cast it out 12 o'clock and uh, it dropped probably 12 30 uh, to 1 and then there's a uh, caught fish that way but uh, you guys can try 11 12 and 1 it depends what the day of the the wind the current of the water the tide the way people are playing boating and stuff like that so try 11 12 and 1 but just watch out for people you know the fishermen that fishing next to you uh don't try to cast upstream too much you might get tangled with them and you don't get fish that way it's just most tangled and get snack mostly you cast upstream you get a lot of snacks and uh you don't get fish because because fish is if downstream it, they're swimming upstream and then uh you try to do it at 12 o'clock you get more fish that way
And uh, anyways, uh, about the weight, I prefer three quarter or an ounce depend on the currents and the wave and stuff like that. If too much current and the tide is uh, is up, is rising, and uh, and uh, I like the one ounce. I want to drop quick. I uh, want to work on you know like the in on the wa in the water, uh, quite a little bit longer. But one ounce is you cannot drift it well uh, you cannot work close to the bank you have to retrieve it faster when you get closer uh, instead of a three quarter ounce you can work it close to the bank and sometimes you get fish right right there probably like three o'clock three thirty whatever does there allow you to work with those uh, three quarter ounce really well and uh half an ounce it's um probably calm no wind no boating and stuff like that but the half half an ounce to me when i test it out it's it just take a little bit longer to uh, to drop to the bottom of the river and uh they just take a lot of time you know out of your fishing time because if you cast 12 o'clock it dropped probably like 1 or one thirties, and by the time you sometimes it go up to 2 o'clock and then um, by the time you you know reel it in and work on that water it's just you don't have much uh, water to work on so it's just not the efficiencies that way and not effective also so that's why i'm uh i think uh you guys can try it out but i like the most is three quarter that's worked really well and then uh one ounce that's also worked really well but you can try it out try to see what i'm saying what i meant and uh try to, to do it yourself so uh you will get experience that way and uh like i say uh you go out there, uh, you take some tips from, from me or from other fishermen, and uh, you go out there, you try yourself, just experience yourself to see what people are saying, and then uh, you can learn from that really, really quick. And uh, so, yeah, just go there, have fun, and uh, if you have questions there, you see like uh, fishermen there, you know, fishing, so you can talk to them ask them questions you know anything they will just friendly answer you so i met a lot of a lot of guys there i met uh, you know ali mark i met people there they are really good at the uh, sharp fishing at the Willamette river um they're just friendly they will tell you some tips and stuff like that but like i said you need to go out there and to experience yourself and test it out. You know, the, the basic is how you cast and you're gonna have to feel the bottom. If you don't feel the bottom, you cannot catch the fish. You're gonna have to feel the bottom and then you bring it up and retrieve it slowly. You just work with that water, retrieve it slowly, you will get fish that way. You don't feel the bottom you don't get fish and uh, one more thing if you cast it out let's say you cast it out 12 o'clock and it's a lot of winds and wave like that and uh, you cast it out probably like 5 to 10 seconds and you don't feel bottom and go up to like 15 seconds and stuff like that it's much better to uh, to retrieving it you know just try to save those tackle uh, try to recast much better when you confident to feel the bottom because uh you will get snack I, I i try that way i try to just want to experience myself that if i don't feel the bottom i just want to feel the bottom first before i lift it up and retrieving it and after 15 seconds i got snack two times so i i know that somehow maybe the current too strong the way pushing it or people playing and then you don't actually feel the bottom your line is slack somehow and uh, you don't feel the bottom drop and 
the current pushing the weight, dragging on the bottom too long, and then it caught on those rocks. So you lost this tackle. Like I say, if you don't feel the bottom, you need to just reel it in and recast. Save time and uh, save money, save all those things. So that's the tip. Uh, choose the right weight, set up the right uh, lead length, and uh, use the right cast, experience it. Most important is to feel the bottom and bring it up until it's slow and just work in that water. You will get a lot of fish. Just go out there, just see if you get the, if you get snacks, you know, don't get discouraged. It's a lot of people get a lot of snacks and they lost a lot of the uh, tackles. I did too, so uh, just, just learning. It's, we all make mistakes. So uh, we just need to learn from those mistakes and just get better. So like I said, just, just go there and, and do it. If you have questions there, you can ask people there. They uh, happily just answer you with any question you have. So yeah, uh, next time I will bring my uh, the strap on my chest so probably I can show you the whole footage uh, of that video much better, what I meant. And uh, yeah, if you see me out there, you can ask me some questions too. I'm happy to answer Okay, all right, guys, take care and uh, have fun because shab uh, is really good food that source of the protein and uh, you just cook them in a pressure cooker. A really, really good food. And uh, it has like twice of an omega-3, more than salmon. So just go out there and, you know, catch some and then test some. And uh, you can use it as bait, crab bait or sturgeon bait, whatever that you like, catfish. Uh, yeah, so I think uh, I might, you know, all over the place talking about things like that. But if you have any questions, just give me uh, some comments on that. I uh, try to answer them. All right, guys, take care and uh, have a nice day tomorrow. It's going to be hot, but let's just try to uh, drink a lot of uh, water. Keep yourself hydrated. And uh, yeah, i see you next time. Then I go fishing. Bye-bye. Uh,